Hello everyone, we're the Big Red SN Guys alongside Jordan. I'm Wesley. We're here to talk tonight's post-game action between Lamar and Abilene Christian. Jordan, final score in this one, 44-28, led by a monstrous game by one Cade Harrington with 354 yards and two touchdowns. Just tell us what we saw tonight from him. We've seen an impressive running game, as you just mentioned, Wesley. I mean, fantastic, over 300 yards compiled. We even seen him in the Wildcat with a little trickery in the backfield. Yes, we so we've seen what a player like Cade Harrington can do if he's healthy. A lot of people are quick to forget the previous years he was at Lamar, he battled injuries. His freshman year was his foot, and then last year was his knee. But he's completely healthy, and he's ready to go. And obviously, the whole entire conference is taking notice of it. Yes, he really put the entire country, really, on notice. 354 yards, that's unheard of unless you're on the FBS level. But Kate Harrington wasn't the only story today. Joe Minden played a solid game, had a couple of turnovers, but he still managed the game very well with three touchdowns, all, one going to Michael Handy, the other Devin Brown, and obviously the Southland's best receiver in Reggie Begleton. But the defense showed up tonight, forcing huge turnovers, even one in the, um, in the red zone with their backs against the wall. And, you know, that's what this defense can do, and it's a balanced attack from the Cardinals that we've seen all season. Like you mentioned, it begins under center with Joe Minden. He's able to go out there in his first game starting for the Cardinals, you know, 100%. Because, as you can remember, the Baylor game went down. He did. So, now, in the conference home opener, he shows up, not just three touchdowns. That's just what the Cardinals need. Defensively is where we've been the most consistent all season, right next to the running game. Rodney Randall with yet another interception. And it's impressive. almost seeming like every time the freshman steps out there on the field, you can just mark one in the INT column. He's that certain to get one just about every game. Yep. And then we had Lawrence come into the game performing so well. Two sacks in this game, and that came in the first half. The pressure defensively was applied by the defensive line. The linebacker, of course, shot the gaps very well. This is a game that the Cardinals were just prepared for. Mm -hmm. Everything that ACU tried to throw at them, the Cardinals always had a counter. And this was the final score, as we've seen, ending in a blowout. Yes, and the Cardinals can build off the confidence. You see, they didn't dwell on last week's just horrendous loss in Southeastern. They used that momentum that they said, okay, we've been here. We know what we have to do against Abilene. We're going to blow them off on our home court. And now we're going to travel again to Northwestern State, who is winless. So this game looks very winnable. And I believe if the Cards can start racking off wins after wins, this conference is wide open for the taking. It is, because if you look back tonight, Southeastern actually lost to McNeese. They so did. that means that even at worst, if we finish out and win out the rest of our game strong, then we could at least tie for a conference lead. Obviously, us beating Sam, we're right at the top. We are. And that's right where we think that we belong. And the, going into this season, nobody expected, besides probably Lamar themselves, that they'll be doing this well. Cade Harrington's on fire right now. Mm -hmm. Reggie Beckleton, as you mentioned, is practically the best receiver in the conference. And despite an early quarterback controversy and only having truly one healthy quarterback on the roster for the Cardinals, mm -hmm. they're finding ways to win the game, they whether are. it's defensively forcing turnovers or offensively giving the ball to Cade Harrington and letting Cade just be Cade. Mm-hmm. He's really making the argument that he will probably be the conference's MVP. So far, for based off what I've seen, just give it to him. Halfway through the conference year, he's already got it. But this is an excellent game for our Lamar Cardinals, a 44-28 victory again. Lamar is now 2-1 in conference play and 3-2 and overall. Next week, they will travel to Natchitoches, Louisiana to play the Northwestern State Demons, who are winless. This game will, was a great game overall. We're glad you enjoyed it. And me and Jordan will be back Wednesday to preview Northwestern State. We'll see you then.